Hey guys, it is time for this week's meal plan. All right guys, hi, I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home With Lemon Pie. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I invite you to check out my blog. It's downhomewithlemonpie.com or find us on Instagram or Facebook. Subscribe to our channel, like and save and share all our videos. And I just wanna tell you a little bit about me real quick um, before we get started. I'm a Christian stay-at-home homeschool mom of six. So with my six kids and myself and my husband, we are cooking for eight um, every single day. And we don't particularly have a huge budget for groceries because there are so many of us and of course we only have the one income. So we try to find meals that are um, cost efficient and also healthy and delicious. So this is number two. This is gonna be meal plan two. If you haven't seen meal plan one, um, go back and see that one. But this is gonna be number two. So I don't typically make a ton of like fancy dishes. I am, we are from the South, we live in Texas, and I just really like the home cooking and the feel good, um, like comfort foods. So that is primarily what we make on a regular basis. And generally I take our meal plan, and um, if you saw the first, uh, the first video that I did on meal plans, um, you saw that generally I plan based on what the day is. So what the day has in store for us. So if it's a day that I am busy in the evening, I'm gonna plan something that's gonna be really simple for me to make. And if it's a day that I have a lot of time on my hands, like a Saturday, I'm probably gonna plan something that is a bit more time consuming in preparation. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what our meal plan is for this week. Okay guys, so the first day of the week that I always plan with is Sunday. And um, this is just the dinners, okay? So I have another video where I talked about what we do for um, like breakfast and lunches during the week. But this is just talking about our meal plan for dinner. So for this Sunday, um, Sunday is more of a day that I can cook a little bit more in depth because our church service in the evening um, starts at four. So I have a little bit of leeway there at the end of that to get dinner prepared and a little bit before that that I can prep. So for Sunday, um, I am doing meatballs and gravy, but I'm going to tell you a little secret. I am super lazy when it comes to the meatballs. Um, sometimes I will use uh, fresh ground beef and I will prepare our very own meatballs. But the time involved in, in preparing those does not equate for us. So generally, I am just buying the $5 bag of meatballs at Walmart because my family loves them. And if they like them and it's easy, I pull them out, they're frozen, and throw them on a pan, cook them in the oven like you would um, any other frozen food. And then, um, you know, they're ready in like 20 minutes. So, uh, yes, you can make your own meatballs and I encourage that. But for our family, I just don't have the time for that every week or any week. So, um, for meatballs, I generally go with the frozen ones. Um, so then gravy, I'm gonna do gravy. Gravy is super easy. If you've never done gravy, if you're buying the packet, um, that's awesome, but it is so easy to make. So um, real quick, I'll tell you, if you get you some beef broth, like the bouillon cubes, and you mix them in water, and you add some flour into your pot with some like salt and pepper, um, you could add garlic if you want, like garlic powder, that'll make up a gravy, just whisk it together, and that is gravy. So um, anyway, super simple. But um, on the side of that, we're gonna be doing some mashed potatoes. I love to do these homemade. I don't generally do the box kind because these are the part that I do prefer to make at home. So I am going to be making those homemade. And then carrots, we're just gonna slice up some carrots and um, cook them in the, uh, in the pot and add some salt and be done. So meatballs with gravy, mashed potatoes and carrots, that is Sunday. Okay, 
So Monday, I am actually going to be doing a full chicken. If you saw my other video, you know that I like to do a full chicken. Um, I boil it, keep the stock for future meals, and I take that chicken and I pull it apart to make two or three meals in the future. So um, however you wanna do it, um, I'm gonna be doing a full chicken and then I'm gonna be turning half of that meat into poppy seed chicken. The recipe is down below, it's on my blog also. And um, it is a delicious recipe and it is so quick and so easy and it's usually a crowd pleaser. So I am going to do poppy seed chicken um, it goes in a casserole dish and then pops in the oven and it doesn't take much time to prepare and it is usually gone in not very long. So I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so for Tuesday, I am actually going to be making um, a three pound um, roll of the ground beef. So however you want to do that, I'm going to make the whole thing, um, the meat, and then I will cut that meat in half. Once it's cooked, I will take half of it and set it aside in the fridge for later in the week. And it's about a pound and a half. The other pound and a half, I am going to be turning into chili and I'm going to make cornbread. And then I always have Fritos available to do like chili pie because that's my personal favorite, but my husband prefers the cornbread. So, um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, chili and cornbread or Frito pie, whichever, um, is on Tuesday. Wednesday, I am going to be doing a beef stew with beef tips. So I'm going to use the beef tips that I found at the store. Um, they were actually on sale one day. Picked those up. That's not normally something we would buy, but they were on sale. So I picked those up and we're going to do beef stew with all the vegetables and the broth, like a, a soup. Um, I will say that with that, we usually use the breads that Walmart has and they always put them on clearance guys and then you can freeze them. So we're going to take the bread like the French bread or the sesame bread, the fresh bread that they have and we freeze them. We have tons of them in our freezer right now and I pull those out and I will use those to go with the soup or I'll put like butter on them and pop it in the oven with some garlic and make like a garlic bread to go with that. So that is going to go with that. Thursday, I am taking the other half of that chicken that I reserved from Monday when I made the full chicken, right? And I turned half of it into poppy seed chicken. So the other half is going to be chicken tostadas. And the way I do those, I take the chicken and I mix it with the taco seasonings. Um, the recipe for the taco seasoning is also on my blog and linked below. And I mix those together and I add um, onion and um, all of your normal taco toppings like uh, cheese and sour cream and um, <clears throat> salsa, black olives if you want, corn if you're trying to sneak in a vegetable, black beans if you're trying to sneak in a vegetable. Um, and then I take the tortillas and I'll actually put just a little bit of oil in my pan and I'll cook up the tortillas so that the flour ones, so they're just a little bit crispy and then we just top everything on top of that. You put your refried beans down first, then your chicken and all your toppings. So they are delicious and everybody likes those and they can make them their own. Okay, Friday, I am going to be a little bit lazy. Um, Friday, uh, I'm going to be doing ravioli and I am, like I said, I'm being lazy. So I am buying the frozen family size bag of ravioli that is at Walmart. And um, it's the cheese one. And we are going to just add sauce to that and a salad on the side and the same kind of bread that I talked about before. Um, Cause that is easy. So that is what we're doing for Friday. And then as always, Saturday is generally going to be my buffet night. That is what I call it. And you'll see this every week probably because that is the night that we pick up all the leftovers and we are able to um, eat up all of those. So if also, if there was a day during the week that we, for whatever reason, weren't able to get to the planned meal, then that is um, the buffet night maybe just moved up if needed. Um, and if not, then I always have, uh, like if there were no leftovers, uh, for example, if we ate them all during the week at lunchtime, then I always have that 
Saturday night is kind of my night that I can do um, something from the freezer. And I usually have something available like chicken nuggets or the um, frozen chicken patties that you can buy or um, something that has been already left over and I froze it, um, frozen pizzas, anything like that that is just so easy. So that is what we save Saturdays for because it's kind of a fun night. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. That is this week's meal plan. I'm interested in knowing what you're doing this week, and um, I will see you guys next time.